What's up everybody, Brad here, and trying to catch up on all my videos, I've said this now for like the last two or three videos, I'm doing all these at once, so, yeah, that's what's going on, and I hate that I didn't get to get on top of this right away, but I can finally sit down and talk about it, and I'm super excited, Warner Brothers Games officially revealing and announcing Multiverses, that's the name of the game. One word, and I think it's a cool idea. It's it's simple. It keeps things simplified to exactly what to expect from this game. It is the multiverse fighting each other. And, you know, no BS, no fancy name. It's not a fancy name like Super Smash Brothers, but you get what it's trying to do from that one word they used. So, cool. Cool idea. Cool name. And honestly, just looking at this one image here of... Uh, what's her name? Arya, I think, from Game of Thrones. I don't know anything about Game of Thrones. Sorry about that. Um, Superman, Bugs Bunny, Garnet, and Jake. All together. I can't believe it. It's so cool looking. Uh, the art style for this game is honestly very appealing to me, personally. I like it. Um, this game pretty much has the exact opposite sort of deal going for it that Nick Brawl had. And let me explain what I mean by that. Nick Brawl benefited from the surprise. This was not a surprise, at least not when they revealed it. This got leaked several weeks ago, and it's t it took the internet by storm um, when it did. Um, but we knew this game was fixing to happen, multiverses. Nick Brawl, I think rumors of that coming out or that being a thing, happened the day before they dropped the trailer. And this they were the first ones to really, to get that. They were the first to get their product out there to people to show something. And it looked interesting. And it was funny. And people memed the crap out of it. Just like they're doing with this, by the way. Although I think that, that day, I think people... Uh, that day just was a lot better because it came out of nowhere and people were genuinely excited about it. Um, maybe because we already knew about this, the memes didn't quite go uh, It's crazy, but I've seen some good ones. But um, anyway, Nick Brawl looks like a game that is very much doing the best it can with the budget it has. This game, as far as the visuals go... This game looks like they intentionally designed the characters to look to, to sort of retain their iconic designs and appearances while meshing them in a way that seeing them together in this game does not feel off-putting. So, the characters have their likenesses, but visually it works and no one feels out of place. But anyway, this is very impressive, and it pretty much feels like a... a I, I saw the leak originally said it looks cheap. I don't think this looks cheap. It was an artistic design to to uh, to make the characters look the way they do. And they don't look out of place. Like, Bugs Bunny standing next to Batman doesn't feel weird to look at when you look at the way the characters are designed for this. And so, I give them a thumbs up on that. Very good effort there, visually. Um, gameplay... Um, seeing some people say that the gameplay looks slow. It looks like the game, like portions of the video that of the announcement trailer, uh, it looks like the game is moving at different speeds. I'm hoping that, considering that they were specifically had mentioned at one point, like Super Smash Bros. Melee being a big influence in this, or people who like Melee, that they won't give them a very slow game, because that's Smash Bros. Brawl, outside of the subspace mode, is generally considered the worst Smash game because of how slow it plays. So, I doubt they'll do that. But who knows? They could always tweak things. Or maybe even offer people different play speeds. That could be something. There's a lot of customization options in this thing if you uh, watch the trailer. Even to, like, the KO animation. So, very cool. I want to talk about the roster really quickly. Let me pull that up on this site where they have all the characters announced officially.
Although I may have to go to my Twitter page to get this correct. Where is the roster? Come on. Anyway, let's go down the roster as... Okay, here we go. Finally got it. Um, so the first character we have on the in this game is Arya Stark, Game of Thrones, of course. I, like I said, I don't know anything about her, but she looks cool. I like her design, I like her look. Like I said, I don't know anything about her, but they she looks like a very cool character. Um, Game of Thrones again. This is weird because most of these other characters, pretty much all of these other characters, are from shows and series that are deemed appropriate for children. Game of Thrones certainly is not, filled with very graphic violence and full nudity. So, something that you cannot show your children. I think it would. It may even be illegal to show Game of Thrones to your children. It's not. Not exactly. Uh. Uh. It's not exactly porn, but. It gets close. But anyway. Batman, of course. No, no need to explain who that is. He looks very cool. Um, Bugs Bunny, again, very cartoony. He's even got the uh, yellow gloves. Although in this particular image here, he's got white gloves. So probably going to be hearkening back to his old school original look the original bugs bunny with the yellow gloves and they've and they've used uh, the yellow gloves in recent cartoons too Finn the human of course adventure time um i didn't really watch much of adventure time but the little bits i've seen of it are pretty good um garnet I, she was one of my top 10 ki uh, picks for the for the game so I'm glad that I picked her and that she ended up in there. One of my picks to be in the game made it. So, very cool. Harley Quinn, of course, very cool. Uh, Harley is one of their most popular characters. The new Harley Quinn show, again, uh, that's another show kids probably shouldn't watch. Uh, Jake the Dog, um, he's in there, he's cool. Uh, Rain Dog is an original character for this game, and I wonder if that means that this, this game is going to have... A, like that tells me that maybe there's a story element to this because why else have an original character if he doesn't mean anything? There's got to be a reason he's in there. Shaggy, of course, the entirety of Shaggy is based on the meme, Ultra Instinct meme. And if you watch the trailer, he's pretty much got Super Saiyan armor. I mean, uh, armor, aura. Just completely crazy. Uh, Steven Universe himself, he, of course. If you're going to have a Steven Universe rep, he had to be in there too. Superman. Soup's in the game. Pretty funny to see that clip of Shaggy punching the crap out of Superman and Superman flying off to the side. Oh, it's good. Tom and Jerry. Now, this is going to be a very interesting character because from the way it looks like they play... Like, we've seen the Ice Climbers. They work in tandem with one another where... Uh, what's their name? Popo and Nana, I think, maybe other names uh, where whichever one is the primary character the secondary one will do the exact same thing and they sort of work as a unit same like Ren and Stimpy they work together cat dog works together this does not appear to be that it looks like from what I saw Tom and Jerry are actually fighting each other although because there's one of Tom's moves maybe it was just a taunt uh it looks like Jerry hits Tom's foot with a hammer and Tom grabs his foot and does a high-pitched shriek. Now, that will be very interesting if that's the way they play. Where, yes, they are one playable character together, but their move set is, say, Tom trying to catch Jerry or hit Jerry with something, but, say, say like, Tom swings a bat at Jerry, Jerry ducks, but he hits... Garnet or Harlequin or Batman instead, you know, or Jerry throws a firecracker at Tom, Tom ducks and it flies into uh, Shaggy's face. Like that would be a really cool idea. And 
it would make them very unique in the, the way that a duo's character would play. Or at least the, you know, the visual, the, the, the on-screen, I guess for lack of a better term, storytelling element of these two bitter rivals and, you know, most fierce of enemies from, uh, most fe- uh, hated enemies from uh, decades and decades worth of shorts where they're trying to kill each other, basically. And th- though they fight, it, though they're in the game programmed as one fighter, they're still trying to kill each other. So that would be a really cool little touch to make Tom and Jerry a very unique character. And of course, last but not least, Wonder Woman making it in there, another DC rep. So we've got 13 characters here, and four of them are DC Universe superheroes, supervillain characters. I mean, Harley's half super uh, hero now. I don't know if we really call her a superhero or a supervillain. She sort of falls in the middle, at least these days. But uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Uh, the, there's going to be skins for these characters. The ones I saw, of course, that were notable. Uh, Bugs with his yellow gloves. Uh, his Valkyrie outfit from What's Opera Doc. That's an iconic look for Bugs. That's going to be a skin. Batman, I saw, has a sort of standard Batman, maybe a more modern Batman design that he has now. But also his classic animated series outfit. Now that's really cool. Harley has like three outfits. I saw somebody post on Twitter, including her classic animated series look, the way she looked when she originally debuted. Uh, well, so there were some different outfits for Steven. Shaggy has like four different outfits. There was one where he looks like a Sherlock Holmes type character, but I'm sure that's a reference to one of the movies. There's one outfit that looks like uh, the bearded Ryu outfit. That's kind of funny. And there's another one where he looks sort of like people were comparing him like the... Uh, the Hollywood guy from uh, Mortal Kombat. I don't know what his name is. Like Johnny Johnny Gage or Johnny Cage. I don't know what his name is. Anyway. Um, it would be a really cool thing. I, uh, it would, would, people, since this, since this whole thing with Shaggy being a, you know, warrior sort of morphed and became part of this like, bigger or different meme of him being in Mortal Kombat that makes it even funnier for him to have a Mortal Kombat inspired uh, skin. So um, Superman has some kind of like Black Lantern. I don't know what Black Lantern is. It looks like a zombie bizarro Superman. Don't know what that is. Uh, Tom and Jerry, one of his outfits, of course, the cow, the infamous cowboy outfit from that uh, commentary track, uh, which is really, really funny. Uh, there's some other Tom and Jerry outfits. I'm sure there will be plenty. I saw some people saying he's got to have the zoot suit from that episode. Oh, that that was another really good episode there. Um, there's a lot of good, a lot of good stuff already from the little we've seen of this. Just was just the first taste of this game. Like I said, they're doing... Apparently, you will be able to get emotes. There's going to be seasons, I think, in this game. And seasonal events. Not sure how that will work for a fighting game. I'm assuming this will be something similar to the way Rogue Company works in that you can buy the base character and then use that. I hope that, since this is a free-to-play game, there will be online currency. I hope that... Like, I like Fortnite's V-Bucks system... But you don't really earn, you can't earn V-Bucks just from playing the game. You have to buy the Battle Pass if you want V-Bucks back. Um, or you have to buy the V-Bucks directly. Very rarely do they ever just give you any. Your reward for playing Fortnite pretty much is, if you don't want to buy anything, is just the bragging rights of saying you won. So, at least in Rogue Company, if you win a game, you get points and if you play enough, you can save enough up to unlock characters. So hopefully that's the idea they go for. Maybe something a little bit influenced by how Killer Instinct was also free to play originally. Where you could, uh, at least I think so. Or the character roster, you could uh, it would rotate out a new character every week. And you could buy that character if you wanted to add them to your roster. You didn't have to buy every character. But... I don't know exactly what they're planning to do with this. Again, because the free-to-play thing 
is very cool, also very worrying, because say they charge 10 bucks for each character here. That's 130 bucks for just the base roster, and they've already said that they pretty much are implying that they plan to give this game a long life as long as people lo uh, are playing it, and they plan to update it regularly with new characters and skins. So, I don't know how often that would be, but they also uh, added the, they said that their plan for this game is that basically anyone could show up in the game. So anybody I'm assuming under the Warner umbrella is on the table. Which is good, but all, which is good, but again, it could really cost you some money depending on how they do this. Will this game have a battle pass? Probably. But I I'm I'm just I don't want to think too much about how the, the this could be very bad, but I just think that from what we've seen of what it is, this is a very cool looking game. You know, I was excited for it. I said, you know, this this if this is a Warner Fuel project, and the idea seems to be that they really want to get that hardcore uh gaming peop uh crowd that more and Warner. When, when they said, when the rumors were that this would have voice acting, and it does, and uh, most of the characters appear to have their original voice actors in the game, not all of them, uh, like Batman is Kevin Conroy, jo George Newbern is back as Superman, that was, he was Superman, I think, from the uh, animated series and Justice League series, so both he and Kevin were both Batman and Superman in that series. Tara Strong is Harley, so that's given, uh, uh, Eric Balza, Bugs Bunny, and Tom and Jerry, by the way. Uh, Estelle is Garnet. So, John DiMaggio, Jake the Dog. So, and Matthew Lillard, of course, Shaggy. So, they've gotten as many back as they possibly could. And that's great. It's not all of them. I think they had to replace the voice for Steven. Um, which is fine. Not everybody can come back and play all these characters. I think that... They even had to, part of the reason why Steven was a aged up for this, uh, the epilogue series for Steven Universe Future was because he couldn't do the voice for Steven anymore. He just got too old. Couldn't sound like a little kid anymore. But, you know, it, it happens to everybody. But anyway, um, again, very excited about this game. Comes out next year. I think I've talked about everything I want to talk about. At least in this video. I'll do more videos. Probably going to do more roster request videos. Um, I am curious, you know, are we going to see more of this? We were. I was expecting this to get revealed at the Game Awards, but they revealed it early. So maybe they'll have some kind of announcement or two for the Game Awards instead. Uh, there's a lot of characters that are supposed to be in this game that did not show up in the reveal trailer. Like Rick and Morty, Johnny Bravo... Fred Flintstone, Gandalf, Mad Max, the possibility of Harry Potter characters being in the game. You know, I think Ben 10 was in a leaked roster image, which wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but there's, a, there's so many characters that, that I would love to see in this game. And, like, I, like, I know for... I, 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 I gotta say that there there is a... Like, I'm just going to say now, I can't see them not putting Samurai Jack in. Jack is one of their most popular original characters. Like, like Jack is pretty much a universally beloved series. Like, J Samurai Jack has to be a character in this game. So, like, th that that needs to happen. No rumor of that happening yet, but it's got to. But, um, anyway... I'm going to do more videos on this game, and hopefully everybody will enjoy those too. And I kind of talked a little bit longer than I wanted to on this because I was trying to get a video out quick. But there was a lot of information in this three minute, four minute trailer uh, for this game. And again, this is one of my, this is pretty much my top anticipated game at the moment. And I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, the uh, in game currency system and level up, whatever it is, but there's some, some kind of progression in the game. Uh, hopefully it's manageable for people 
and it won't cost people a ton of money to play this game and not and hopefully people won't miss out like i said the thing with these free to play games is i think that if you do play them you should be compensated for the time that you play them in in some sort of way give people a reason to play the like like if you're going to use in game currencies like for the people who can't afford it but still want to play and enjoy the game like I said, give people a little bit of a reward for playing your game so that they can unlock more characters because if you unlock more characters, you're probably going to keep coming back to the game. But um, And eventually people will put in... I, I can't see people who play like that never putting money into the game, but I don't know. I, I like that Rogue... I like the little bit of I played with Rogue Company. It let me earn points enough to unlock an additional character or two before you know i in the two weeks that i played it to finish that free battle pass so again i don't know i just hope that it's fun overall over anything else i hope it's fun but anyway i talked long enough about this uh what do you guys think about the roster as it is who else would you like to see i don't care if you've posted on my other video or not uh let me know who you want to see in the game, who's not here yet, or who has been rumored but isn't confirmed yet. Um, what other features do you want to see in this game that maybe they haven't talked about yet? We know about how the fighting works, but could there be a story mode? If there's an original character in this game, and they've given lore, and they're explaining that some of these characters are just missing from their respected universe, uh, 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 universes that they're from, then... What has happened? Is there a story to this, sort of like Fortnite is, to the uh, justification for why these characters are all crossing over? So, I don't know. You guys tell me. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment, please. Support my channel through Ko-fi if you would. Watch all my other stuff. Subscribe if you haven't. Did I already say subscribe? I think I did. I'm sleepy and tired. It's been a long week. But, anyway, I'm looking forward to more news on this. But until then, we'll see you later.